Hi, it's Mrs Cox with this week's Art Challenge. Um, and today we're going to have a look at the way different artists have used very simple techniques to produce incredible images. And then you're going to have a look at making your own marks and producing your own images. So I'll share my screen and we can look at some fabulous artwork. Okay, so here you can see some little squares of paper on which an artist has just experimented with, in this case, a pencil. So all you'll need for this is a pen or a pencil and some paper or card. But let's start by looking at how artists use these simple marks to make incredible pictures. So here we see a really detailed pen and ink drawing of two marabous, two birds, and the artist has made very simple shapes, but used pen and ink to fill them in. So we've got some solid black areas and some white areas. We've got wavy lines at different angles. And here we've got tiny straight, um, marks that go together but look at the impact that that artist has had with just a few different uses of different marks and this is Benjamin Sack who produces these incredibly detailed they're called cityscapes so they're imaginary cities and they're all done with pen and ink lines, but they look incredibly detailed and interesting. This one is a very famous artist from the last century called Heath Robinson. And he was famous for inventing incredible, complicated inventions that would probably never work in real life. So this is a, seems to be an invention that's about pouring water over the cats. So the cats are howling, um, the people in the house are cross, they're trying to get rid of the cats. So he's invented this incredibly complicated um, machine, which involves sticks and various rods and pulleys and a jug of water to get rid of the howling cats at night, we can see it's night because we've got the moon up there. But again, he's done all that in pen and ink or pencil and used, you can see he's got straight lines and dots and little up and down lines. Um, so all sorts of um, different textures and images that he's put in that drawing. Here we have Tom Ngo, who's from Hong Kong. And again, very great use of detail, but this looks much more, it's much more formal, very um, regular shapes to do a picture of a house. Um, and here we have Eva Hess, who's used um, possibly charcoal uh, and maybe a little bit of watercolor, but it's one color, it's monochrome, one color and some very simple round shapes that look very effective. Uh, this is by Claude Monet, a famous French artist, and he's drawn a cliff. You can see we've got rocks at the bottom, we've got a boat, we've got a ship, and again, dots, straight lines, curved lines, all sorts of different marks making this drawing. And finally, we have um, a landscape by Paul Cézanne, another famous artist. And again, you can see straight lines, almost all straight lines actually, and then some gentle curves, but making a very different scene. So we've seen how artists take very basic technique of mark making and then use it to do all this amazing range of drawings. And all you're going to do today is have a play with different marks. So we've got here some ideas of straight lines and curved lines. You need, um, you could start with a single tool, just a pencil or a pen. You could have a go on different days. And the first day you could try with a pencil. 
the next day you could try with a pen you could try with a felt tip or with one color of paint or colored pencil and this works really well on small squares of paper so you put a different mark on each square and then take a photo of it and send it to your teacher so we can see the different marks you've made. So all you're going to do, and I'm not going to make a demonstration video because it really is this easy, choose one of the images in the video and pause the video and look at how the artist has made their marks. And then maybe look at another one and experiment with mark making. How many, our challenge to you, how many different marks can you make on your little bits of paper or in different places on a big bit of paper? And then if that's too easy, can you do an image, maybe the same as one of the artists in the video, or maybe your own image, using different marks for different parts of texture? Okay. So first chilli challenge, the easy level, is use your pen or pencil and make some patterns. Want to be a bit harder? Make a lot of different textures and patterns using different marks and lines. Straight, circular, curvy, wavy. How many patterns can you make? And if that's... Um, too easy, use those patterns to make your own image. And you could copy one of the ones that is on the video because a lot of great artists started by trying to copy things that other people have done and then got better at doing their own. Or if you're ready for it, just use those textures in your own image. We can't wait to see what you come up with um, in this week's.